So we're in the chair of the Mount St. Anne. It's pounding rain at the moment. <laughs> Usually we climb in gondola, but gondola did break like during the spring. So we're left with the chair here. Um, the next track that I'm gonna do is called the uh, 1837. So it's a very technical trail. It's uh, double black. It's uh, somewhere in the steep section over there. So I'll bring you into the 1837. Uh, that'll be the first time I'm doing it on the Evil. So not really a 29er at the moment. So we'll see how the mullet perform. <sighs> God fuck it. Back on the bike. I'm now cool as fuck. <laughs> so that might be the last one. So as you can see, we don't see shit on the mountain. Uh, not sure how good of an idea it is to do the 1837. So for a moment, that'll be the most technical trail I'll be fine to do. Uh, uh, those who are like more advanced, like double black, I don't feel like doing them uh, out in the rain. So, as you might know, Mont Saint Anne is pretty technical, it's an old mountain. I haven't done the 1837 on the reckoning as of this video so I'll try to crash and I'm pretty cold <laughs> honestly so I'll just wash out what I do one thing I notice in the small technical section is that the bike do accelerate faster versus the 29er. I'll lose that speed faster of course but it's interesting to see how just a little pump of the back wheel can give you a boost of speed. So pretty good. As of the moment, up. But yeah, I see that the BB is pretty low in those um, technical trail. Uh, the pedals uh, almost touched up. up, like section of the trail which are higher on the sides. Up. So I'll need to be very careful to what I'm doing so I think that's a good idea to run a small technical trail like that because the wind's so cold so whoa, 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 whoa. that's the right one <laughs> beautiful double black trail ah <sighs> <laughs> Almost went ODB. <laughs> so the bike don't behave like when it is in its original format in 2929. It's interesting. So I'll be careful in those sections we are now getting into so it's a bit more steep and the bike accelerates faster in those um, small compression zone like when I hit a small compression like somewhere like here he does take his speed faster than with the rear 29 So it's different. I'd say that I like it, but it's a setup 
I think that would be more appropriate in a um, bike park situation. Oh, is that a jump? That seems big. <laughs> Not today, my friend. <laughs> Fuck, that's a big one. That's a big one. You basically arrive from this section, which you don't have that much speed. Maybe it's because it's raining, but that's a good addition. Chicken pass. Fuck <laughs> you, chicken pass. Look at this jump. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. Okay, no, no, it's, it ain't that bad. <laughs> So, pretty good so far. Gosh. Oh! <laughs> That was a close call. Oh! Dropper's out. Oh, that suck. Fuck. What happened? Oh, no. Dropper's out. Everybody have a set of Allen key? No, huh? Oh. I got something. Oh, I'll need a rock or something. Shit. Ah. Ah. I got it, guys. I fucking got it. I'm keeping that rock. something okay so bike is fixed dropper is down <laughs> we're sparked to get back on the bike okay okay so i'm gonna be careful i think <sighs> gosh so that wasn't really a crash Not really. So, yeah, bike is rolling, that's good. Shit. <laughs> so, we're in a very technical spot on that trail, and yeah, I can feel that. BB is pretty low. So I wouldn't suggest riding the reconning in such technical trail. Or I mean if you got like 165 crank, it could be a good setup. But I think that pretty much everybody that rides a reconning in DH uh, rides it with uh, 170 at the front. So, uh, uh. oh shit. Uh. So, uh. that's probably gonna be the end of the video. The last trail I'll be doing. So, this one's called the Tordu. Uh. As does. The mullet reconning works in that trail. Uh, that's more sketch. Oh. <laughs> Just touched the chain ring. So, uh, if I would ride that setup, uh, I would do it with. Uh, 165 crank just to clear some of these rocks 
but the bikes perform pretty good something that is wrong about my setup right now is that I got carbon wheels back and an alloy one on the front so these wheels are pretty stiff way too stiff for me <laughs> so that, that makes this kind of let's say interesting but I got to feel that I I wrestle with the back wheel to keep it on track one is uh, the end of the charity up uh, up it's not a bad setup it's fast it accelerates faster in these. Oh, my bar doesn't pass between these wet history. I know. Okay. So I feel that the bike is smaller, and some of these compression zones that I know the bike handles like perfectly I have the feeling that I might go over the bar because of the small wheels so last section of this test it's gonna be the end of the trail oh it's closed <sighs> okay gonna do the right thing just because it's raining because usually i do it okay last section is this one here i don't have as much brake power now that i did earlier in the day so. Here's a bit faster section. No. Yep, so these small compression zones are faster and these small acceleration when you pump the bike or faster so that's the end of it i'm cold as fuck <laughs> i need a hug from the wife and probably a drink so what are my final thoughts about the mullet setup on recutting it isn't as fast of course uh, but the acceleration faster and then the comp compression zones that you pump the bike into accelerates much faster the bike is more playful and something that I would do in a bike park situation I wouldn't recommend it in technical stuff because those pedals uh, pass very close to the ground it's a bit slower than running your bike in uh, x slow. So the bike feel, feels more manoeuvrable, but not as stable as the 29 version. So, would I recommend this setup? 
Oh yeah, I would, that's fun. I would recommend running a 165 crank set instead of the 170. You can ride it for bike park, shit. But don't do it for technical stuff. Am I gonna keep on with the setup? Nope. I'll be back on the 29 to set up. So that's the end of it. Hope you guys love this little test. I'm gonna wipe my bike and wipe my ass as well. And if you like this video, you can subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and see you in the next episode of Free Ride Quebec. See you guys. Oh, that's kind of a cool setup. Fuck, that's clever. See you guys.